<laughs> this is consistent over the last 10, 15 years as we keep doing stupid things that kill jobs and businesses. And that's why I'm running for governor here in Illinois. Gary, if you could explain why you decided to be a plaintiff in this lawsuit and what's your take on the decision? Are you happy? Can we put this behind us? Or will, will there be, need to be more lawsuits and more action involved to maintain the ruling that we saw yesterday? So Jason, hey, thank you first of all for having me on today. And I gotta tell you, you like Illinois being an Indiana guy because we're the place that grow jobs and businesses that you guys then steal from us, okay? This is consistent <laughs> over the last 10, 15 years as we keep doing stupid things that kill jobs and businesses. And that's why I'm running for governor here in Illinois. Um, but I gotta tell you, yeah, we, we, we look at, uh, here, here's the deal. I, I, I was one of the founders in a great organization called Job Creators Network about 11, 12 years ago. It was, it was Bernie Marcus's idea. He brought a few fr few friends in, a few CEOs to start it with him. I was one of those uh, that, that were, were in the beginning, uh, a board member and still a member today. Um, and that organization has done some great things to, to fight terrible, you know, stupid regulation that kills jobs across America. And uh, this is the granddaddy of them all. Um, you know, I had, uh, when, when Biden was gonna be passing down this, you know, President Biden was gonna be passing down this law, we knew about it. And uh, Alfredo, the CEO, and I had a phone call, and he brought our, our best lawyers in, and, and we knew that we were going to go after this because we knew that this was against our, our freedoms in America. It was, and it, there's no way small businesses like ours wanted to be the vaccine police uh, to our to our uh, employees. Uh, Gary, I got to ask this question. If my memory serves me well, isn't there a tradition of Illinois governors going to prison? Why, why would you want this job? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I want this job because I don't really, I, I don't need another job, right? I, I have a bunch of these 13, 13 little businesses here that we run and my, my team members, my leaders run these businesses. I, I, I wanna do this for two terms and I wanna go back to business again because I love building jobs and building businesses. Um, and, and not needing this job, I 100% cannot be bought. 100%. I'm a common sense guy. I, I, I didn't go to college. I, I started working right out of high school. My common sense, it's been built through the co College of Hard Knocks, um, I, I believe is strong, very strong. And I'm confident that it's leadership like, like mine that we need, to, we need to inspire. We need to inspire business people, small business people to jump into the game of politics as, as, as dirty as it is. And as much as we don't, we don't uh, love what politics looks like, we need good people with common sense that can't be bought to run an office across our country. And my, my goal is to inspire others to do the same. All right, so Gary, at the beginning of this, you left out the greatest thing that Indiana ever stole from Illinois. His name was Isaiah Thomas. He took the Indiana Hoosiers to the national championship. That was our greatest theft. And, and what it really speaks to is like, when you develop something great in Illinois, in order for it to fully blossom, it must go to Indiana. Yeah, well, you know what? We're sick of being the farm club, buddy. And and when I win as governor, we're not we're no longer gonna be the we're gonna be the major leagues where we create jobs. Right now, right now, Jason, jobs start here. Businesses start here, right? We've got this entrepreneurial engine in Chicago and technology. It's it, it, you know, Jay, our our failed governor will talk about this, right? But what you'll notice is once they're profitable, they're out of here. They're, 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 they're in Indiana, they're in Tennessee or, or Florida or Texas once they make money. So, I mean, we're the farm club right now and I'm, and I'm sick of it.